Wow, I think I nailed today. This is such a beautiful look I create for you. And yes, today we're gonna use brand new Chanel eyeshadow palette. It is limited edition. Hurry up if you wanna purchase. I will link below all products. But let me show you how I create this look just for you. First, I'm gonna hydrate my skin and this is moisturizer La Solution 10. It's moisturizer for sensitive to extremely sensitive skin. It's alcohol free, fragrance free and I'm gonna use this moisturizer on entire my skin, even eye area because I know it's no alcohol here. I don't really need to fill my eyebrows because I went to Nordstrom and I tint my eyebrows and usually I always tell to my friend Myra like make them a little bit darker because in a few days they will fade it but I like them I don't need to fill if I need all what I need just a little bit comes in up that's it now, because we are gonna make a smoky eyes, we need eyeshadow primers. Yes, we're gonna do eyes first, then I'm gonna clean up and then foundation, concealer and rest of stuff. I want eyeshadow stay all in long, not run, not crease. Yes, sorry, Chanel don't have eyeshadow primer, which one I like. I'm gonna use matte pantherly and you can see it's have a very like a nudish color. I have already like darkness on my eyelid and this product will take care of my darkness and eyeshadow gonna stay all day long. And I'm using old, old Chanel concealer brush. I apply this eyeshadow primer on entire my eyelid and also you can see like underneath. Look at one my eyes and another eyes. You can see it's a huge difference. This is it's a sample eyeshadow palette from Chanel. And if you can see it's pretty dark colors here. We need something light. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use Charlotte, oh sorry, a Chantecaille eyeliner and this is, it's a nude color. This nude color I'm gonna use under my brows. It's gonna give me this nice, beautiful, like a polish look and will lift my eye. And you can use with brush or I using just my finger, just a little bit of this color. Before I apply any eyeshadow or eyeliner, in my case, how I like, I like to curl my eyelashes right now. I curl my eyelashes and now I'm gonna use Lancome Waterproof Eyeliner Black and I'm gonna apply very, very close to my lashes. You can use any, any eyeliner. I just want this eyeliner to be very like easy and kind of like glides to your eyelid. And if you can see, I kind of apply a heavy layer and I go up and up and up and up. Basically, I'm making my eyelid darker. And it's okay if it's not perfect. I'm gonna use right now a little bit brush and I'm gonna solve this. But I cover in my eyelid with black eyeliner and very quick, I'm gonna use brush brush right now and blend. Again, I apply on the entire my low eyelid. It's okay if it's not perfect, we're gonna put on top eyeshadow. And yes, makeup can look a little bit awkward now, but I promise the end of you will like. First color, which one we're gonna use in this palette, it's this color. And it looks like it's a matte color. Let me swatch for you. 
this is its first color and I actually like it and it feels really like a powder and it's no shimmer even when I look it in a palette it looks like a little bit maybe sheen but um, let's see on my eyelid I'm gonna use big blending brush this color I am applying above of this black uh, liner which one we smudge with you you can see I named this it's my middle color this color don't have much pigment very very softly but it is very pretty this product how layering on my eyelid again same eyeshadow I am just applying right here above my circle area I'm little bit blending a little bit more adding color because this is it's a very pretty soft color and again I love like texture for this color and now let's use second color and it will be a black color I really want to see pigmented not pigmented rich or soft color and you know what let me put next to this brown color again this is it's your matte color and it's not like too too brown I'm glad I put waterproof eyeliner first and then I'm gonna apply eyeshadow because I want a rich color I'm using same 200 brush from Chanel it's one of my favorite brush and we're gonna use this small small brush and I'm just gonna basically layer this color on top of my eyeliner I want you again to see not all the way I just turn kind of from half and I pushing this color up like I will say we're gonna make a foxy eyes now I have a clean Chanel brush old one this is brush probably like more than 10 years old and I'm gonna slightly little bit put this black color up and blend And if you can see I turn in my head a little bit this way and I kind of push in this darker black color close to my brows I'm gonna use same 200 brush I'm gonna add little bit little bit more this black color right here So far I love these eyeshadows. We have only two colors on my eyelid. I'm smiling because I'm very happy. Okay, you know I like to talk. <laughs> Let's use second color. Second color, we're gonna use this beautiful green color and it looks like a sparkly and very metallic. -y. Let's try. Okay, let's swatch this very quick. Yes, yeah, this green color is definitely have metallic and it's have a little spark or shimmer. And now let's use this color. I have a flat tiny brush again from Chanel. I think they discontinue this brush, but you can use any brush, just make sure it's flat. And this color I'm gonna apply right here on the corner, and you can see I kind of press in this color. now I have big blending brush I'm gonna add a little bit more black eyeshadow right here in the corner and you can see again I push in this color up now we need big clean blending brush and now I'm gonna slightly blend this 
now it's time to use this lighter color in this palette and you know let's put next to a black eyeshadow this is eyeshadow you can see you you can see but it's you can barely see on my hand it's very very subtle again i'm gonna use big blending brush yes i have a lot of blending brushes and i'm gonna apply right here above but not all the way to my eyebrow bone just like halfway now i have a black eyeliner from lancome it's waterproof and i'm gonna apply this black eyeliner between my lashes underneath and then i need liquid eyeliner and i'm using tom ford eyeliner i'm gonna apply very very close to my lashes this eyeliner now i am gonna use lancome lash primer and then i'm gonna use chanel mascara lip volume i'm not sure if i'm gonna do false lashes or not i usually have a bad reaction for any glue for my lashes uh, and Le Bole Mascara usually will give me nice beautiful fluffy big lashes eyelashes it's done yes i take time and i apply lots of lots of mascara but now i don't need false lashes okay i have chanel cotton it's best the best chanel eye makeup remover and now i'm gonna clean under my eyes and if you can see i kind of cleaning up and my eyes it's start lifted <laughs> okay let's do another eye just like this now we need to put foundation concealer and then we are gonna add a little bit more eyeliner on the bottom and eyeshadow you can see i have discoloration pigmentation i do have a large pores i'm gonna use clinique primer and this is its color character but it's also have this like a slicky well, i would say silicone feeling primer this is it's fragrance free it's allergy tested and i love this primer again it will slightly will help me to even my skin but most important will minimize my pores And I do have a dark, dark circles under my eyes. I'm gonna use my favorite right now eye cream from Natura Bisse. And this is its Diamond Cocoon Sheer Eye Cream. It's have a little bit, little bit color. And yes, if you don't have any darkness under your eyes, you can use this as your concealer. But on my days off, or I can use just only this eye cream and I believe this is it's a new packages or it's like it's a smaller size I think I believe now they're making two sizes because big size original price I believe 180 and this one I'm not sure because finally they send me one and it's free love you not to represent <laughs> I do like product from this brand it's so good look at this side and look at this side it's a huge difference even lines and wrinkles looks way less wow for my foundation i use in le beige um hydrating long wearing foundation it's a light to medium coverage foundation but because i'm using beauty blender this is foundation with beauty blender i can build to a full full coverage it is 12 hour wearing high wear foundation but again look at how glowing how pretty this foundation wow 
look at this foundation do you like this foundation on me please let me know it's glowing i look young no more pigmentation discoloration or old lady <laughs> skin <laughs> okay now i'm gonna use bronze it's a cream bronze from chanel it's la beige and um, it's color 390 and i like to use charlotte Tilbury brush and this is I think maybe for powder or I don't even know but I just love this brush for cream bronze I'm gonna apply this bronze very very close to my hairline and you can see I kind of like doing like a circle circle emotion now i'm gonna go on the knees i have a little palmarinian i don't know if you can hear him or not must be wanna be fancy like me <laughs> okay cookie next it's you now i have a bronze right here on my brush and again i'm gonna just little bit apply bronze right here and i pushing this bronze up cookie come on kind of on my nose and i'm gonna slightly close to my eyebrows you barely can see we're done with bronze now i'm gonna use concealer and i'm gonna use hourglass concealer color silky i do like this concealer and i like laura mercier concealer older laura laura mercier concealer and i'm not yet sure which one i like the best now i'm gonna use chanel concealer brush you have one size it's flat and another it's your like a blending brush i like this to use for concealer i like this use for eyeshadow for cream eyeshadow for eyeshadow primer it's a nice brush <laughs> and you can see i push and concealer a little bit up it's bright my eye area and it's lifting my eye area now i have this fluffy brush and i'm just gonna slightly slightly go underneath because i do have a lines and wrinkles and concealer slightly slightly stain on my lines and wrinkles and i basically removing my concealer and of course i'm gonna use my finger a little bit more observe products mm, what do you think i like it now let me set my foundation with powder and i use in la beige powder number 10 it is not heavy it's very light powder but i love this powder now i'm gonna use waterproof eyeliner number 88 and it's chanel i have chanel eyeliner brush and i'm gonna little bit sew this eyeliner underneath and i'm pushing up now if you are long time with me you know this is my favorite brush from north it's a small tiny blending brush and we're gonna use this darker brown color it's not dark but it's the darkest colors in this palette and we're gonna put little bit little bit very softly underneath and look how pretty oh my god it's so pretty no one woman not be beautiful we all beautiful and gorgeous you just need lesson from katerina beauty style now i'm gonna use this flat brush and it's from north of course i will list it all products below and yes if you will buy i will get a little credit or you can reach me on instagram katya beauty style i will send you from nordstrom it's free shipping and i always put nice <laughs> nice beautiful presents i have a black eyeshadow here and i'm gonna apply very very close to my lashes
and I will go little bit up just right here make like a little wing and now I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna apply on my waterline first the black eyeliner and then second coat I'm gonna use Chanel eyeliner but it's a green, it's a Vert Emerald number 46. It looks so pretty like black green, gorgeous. After eyeliner, I'm gonna use MAC mascara. I love this mascara. It's such a small, tiny brush. It's perfect for my low lashes, bottom lashes. I feel a little bit I need to refresh my brows and I'm gonna use, it's a sample I just got from Nordstrom when I purchased some merchandise. It's a soft brown revitalage a mascara, brown mascara, and it's have a little bit stickiness, but not much. I just want slightly little bit to refresh my eyebrows. I need to add a little bit color, Okay, first I am gonna use La Beige powder. It's not bronze, it's a powder. And this is color, it's 40. I love this powder, you can see it's holes there. And I'm using small powder brush, but I will use this as my bronze. I just love this color. I love Chanel powder because it, this gives you this beautiful, beautiful, like a blurry effect it's never heavy looking on my skin basically i'm using and enjoying this product okay bronze it's here it's giving me this like extra extra pop and i don't look so pale and now let's use the blush for my blush, I'm gonna use the Chanel Limit Edition Color Coral. Beautiful, like it's a corally orangey color, will give me nice, beautiful pop. I apply on my cheek and I push it up. On my cheek circle emotion and push it up. For my highlighter, I'm using Chanel number no. 10 Ivory Gold. It's a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. It's not too light, it's not too dark. Love this highlighter. Now, I do want my blush connect with my eyes. I have this big blending brush. I'm gonna use this blush and I'm gonna apply just very, very little, just right here. It's gonna give me this extra pop and my eyes will connect with blush. You can see it's so little, but it does make a huge difference. Time for a lipstick. And I know if I'm gonna go with darker lipstick, deeper color, it's gonna age me. I'm gonna do something very soft and natural. I'm gonna use Chanel lip liner and it's Rose Natural 158. Then I'm gonna add lipstick and because I know we're gonna go to a restaurant, we're gonna celebrate our <laughs> anniversary, I'm gonna use Chanel lipstick and it's uh, um, Tender Beige number 69. And then I'm gonna put on top very sexy lip gloss from brand we just start carrying at Nordstrom. I love this lip color. It's so natural, so sexy. We need to wait this product to dry around like two minutes and then my lipstick is dry. You can see it's on my lips, not on my hand. And now I have a two lip glosses from Pat McGrath. I'm not sure which one do I like. They're both very pretty. Okay, let's go with this one. Yes, Nordstrom just received Pat McGrath products. Yes, I got already so many eyeshadow proof, eyeshadows, concealers, foundation, lip glosses. I'm gonna review my next video. 
Okay, this color, and look at how pretty this color. I love this lip gloss, but it feels a little bit heavy on my lips. It's kind of, again, it's a new, new product for me, new formula, and I think I need just used to this product but it's very pretty what do you think